really good. Yeah, guys, we have a point sticking out in the water up here, and there's an underwater, uh, just an underwater point, good spot to fish. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. Today we are fishing. It's a big surprise to a lot of you. Normally we don't fish when we're out here, but today we thought we would fish. I'm with me ancient. He's driving the boat, and we are with our friend, Mark Dobby from Canada. We see him here every year in Hawaii. And all three of us, we're just gonna be doing some reef fishing, some bottom fishing. We're gonna be trolling a little bit, but mostly we're gonna focus on the bottom fishing. We caught two fresh octopus the other day, so we have some good bait. It's gonna be a good day. All right, kids, I'm gonna shut her off for now. All right, cool. Let's get fishing. Hopefully we'll be using the old gaff today. My first job, guys, is to cut up some bait. If we catch a sushi fish today, we're gonna make some sushi. Choose this long piece right here. I'm gonna put that on first. Well, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm making the first drop of the day. By the way, guys, if you want to check out any Ace Videos merchandise, I have a guy making all kinds of cool stuff, including hats, stickers, all kinds of cool shirts. Check out a link, the link in the description below. Also, check out my seasoning while you're there. But all the merchandise will be linked down below. Check it out. Got one. Um, maybe it's a snag, unless it's so big. I can't, what? Unless it's either, I have a giant fish or it's one that has me snagged. And I think he might have swam in a hole or something. Maybe it's one of those, uh... Because he's pulling for sure. Maybe it's one of those grouper, those peacock grouper. Guys, oh, there we go. Okay, it came, uh, came out. See, I gave him some slack. Shoot. Well, I had one there. Got something. But it's not pulling. It's pulling a little tiny bit. I got, I was immediate when I dropped that down there. Guys, we moved out to some deeper water, moved around to a few different spots. This is our, I guess this is our third spot. And immediately hook on something, hook up on something that's not even like fighting very much. It is, oh, it's a lizard fish. That's the biggest lizard. That's the biggest lizard fish I've ever seen either. <laughs> that is crazy. Guys, look at that weird dude. Big old mouth, these guys bury in the sand real fast and attack things. And uh, it's kind of a weird, Little lizard fish, we'll throw him back. I guess that's first catch today. I guess we kind of got this skunk out of the boat. <laughs> we'll take it. Got one. Big one, big one. The drag wasn't set right on this. Holy mackerel, we got a big one. This might be an uku the way it took off. All right. Oh guys, it was a little slow at first, but we got one. We got. I think it's, it's a Trevally. Oh, it's a big Trevally. Come over. Oh. Try to get him right in the head. Or you don't have to actually. It's, here, just a second. I don't want to ruin him for the picture. All right. Uh, bring him but, to the back. You want me to jump here, Mark? Would you? Yeah. 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 Let me bring him to the back, guys. Look at that. Nice peel. Pardon me. Uh huh. Yeah, it's solidly in. If you would be so kind. Oh. Let me just grab him by the tail there. 
Yes! There you go. Woo Thank oh, you, Pops. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Woo. All right, we got Fine. dinner. Finally, guys, it was slow this morning. But look at that. Woohoo! That is what we came out here for. We need one more like that. Uh huh. Or a little bigger. Like 11 pounds. Yes! Wow. Yes! Yes! Yeah, he kind of has bars on the side, but no, it's the yellow spot. Okay. He does have some bars. You know, I think they all kind of interbreed sometimes with each other. Guys, we're going to kill this guy right away. We'll fillet him in just a second because we have a cutting board right on this boat. Yeah, he left the bait on. We're just bleeding him out, guys. Attracting sharks. Spotted peel are good for sushi. Thank you to Mike for giving me uh, the tip. Mike is one of my subscribers and he has his own YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description. He lives on Hawaii. And uh, so thank you to him for the inspiration. Um, I've never had papio as sushi, so it's a first time for everything. This will only be like my third time making sushi. And we got a nice bit of food for sharks right there. Guys, I just threw your chum down. All right, so we cleaned everything up. We got a couple of nice fillets here, and uh, we're just gonna make some nice small cubes. We're just gonna cut off any little bits of like red or whatever, and uh, so we have nothing but the pure white meat. We take our bowl, we fill it with some nice chunks there. Since this is the first time ever doing this fish, not 100% sure that I'll enjoy it, so we're just doing that much for now. And then I have here soy sauce, sesame oil, red peppers, uh, green onions, and regular onions that we mixed before at home. In fact, let me kind of stir that around good so the oil gets all mixed in there. A lot of soy sauce, and we just pour it over top. We're making polka. Whoa, a few waves here, trying to throw our stuff over the side. And we just mix, mix this around and let it sit for a minute or two to soak up the juices. We just have a really simple sushi made right on the boat. Pops, do you want the first taste? Sure, I'll take a taste. All right. Want me to hold your fishing rod? Yeah, yeah. What do you taste? What do you think, truly? I like it. You like it, but you don't love it. It's not blow you away. No, but I don't like raw fish a whole bunch. But you're not, like a big, you're not a big sushi fan. No, no. It's a good flavor. Real good flavor. Mark, do you want to try any? Alrighty. That's really good. Really good. Really good. Really? Excellent. You, you're you a sushi fan. Yes, sir. My dad is not a, such a sushi fan. I'm a sushi fan as well. Excellent. So now I'm going to try this here. My first thought is it's chewy, more chewy sushi. The ukun, the great snapper that I've made, which is the only other sushi I've ever made, Kind of melts in your mouth more, and this is more chewy, but it's tasty. Not too shabby. I would say when I made the poke, the gray snapper, 
that was like whoa it's just so good just the flavor and it would melt in your mouth but this isn't bad either but the gray snapper still reigns supreme this is fun on a boat eating fresh fish like this Ooh, we need a break we're gonna jump in guys cooled off giving it a little bit for the blood from the fish to kind of disperse <laughs> hopefully there are no sharks <laughs> <laughs> Good net. Swim under the boat? I don't want to have to rescue my old man. He's like a fish! <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Woo! Alright, sir. Alright, guys, let's hit a new, new spot. Hopefully, a bigger fish. Woo! No matter what, it's been a gorgeous day out here. A little bit of storm clouds over the island there, but nice and sunny out here. Guys, Mark has one. His first fish of the day. First filmed fish. First filmed, that's true. You caught some off camera. Just talking about moving spots, guys. Of course, that's that's the key. We gotta talk more about what, where we're gonna go next. All right, guys, the water's a lot dirtier right here. What do you have? It's a it's a big trigger fish. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a biggie. Look at that. It's one of those black ones. It's a big oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. It's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Sweet. Well there is most exotic catch of the day. Do you want to eat them? Not overly do you. <laughs> Not really. They are edit they are good. We've eaten them once. Well, it's your boat. If you want to keep them, we can keep them. Yes, it's what do you think, Pop? Should we keep them? They're good fish to eat. They're good to Pop's eat. Never had one. Wow, that is hard. Feel that? Uh huh. Yes. It's like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was funny. You know what? I didn't he, have that much octopus. Oh, he's been eating another octopus. Yes. There's no way I had that much. Oh yeah, you have on your hook. Yes. On there, guys. This dude's been eating, chomping down on octopus. That is funny. He just spit up a whole. Oh, he has something else in his mouth too. He ain't done yet. He ain't done. Well, we'll put him in the fish bag, put him over the side. Got one. Decent fish. Decent fish, yeah. Oh, he, look at that. Do you see how it came off? Oh, my goodness. Guys, I don't know. I've been missing some fish today. Nice. Got one. Nice. Yes. Oh, it's a ringtail wrasse. Imagine. We catch these tons of these all the time, and they're not good to eat. Cool looking fish, but that's cool. But I think we probably catch a couple hundred over the two months. If you think about, well, maybe that's no, because we'll catch like ten sometimes in one trip. Well, that's true. Yeah, I kind of forget. Yeah. Guys, we're headed to one final spot been a slow day out here um, but uh, our one final spot is right in front of where we launched and we're just gonna try right right there on that kind of that side of the island there kind of because it's been slow really slow day on this side I got a fish. 
Get the skunk out of the boat. <laughs> With three minutes left. All right. Ah, shoot. Last cast of the day, guys. Got one. On the last cast. Oh, shoot. Always fantastic out on the water, even though the fishing was a little bit slow. Pops, great time. Always love fishing with you. Fish, thank you. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take this back. We're gonna fry up the rest of this fish. It's good. It's pretty good uh, sushi. Pretty good uh, poke. But uh, I feel like I'm fried better. Mark, thanks, thanks for so having me. You, you are so welcome. It was a great time out here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.